Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of Gloomhaven Guildmaster Campaign. We have a little bit of bookkeeping, so we'll jump right into that. Um, the first is a perk point for the Soothsinger. He uses 30 song ability. Um, we'll claim that reward and uh, jump into... I think that was it. Yep. And we'll take a look at that perk point now. Um, although... Let's see here. I'm having a uh, an idea that I'll probably end up not using the Soothsinger for this next one. I'll, I think I'll still put this on. Um, let's go with Ligarthy. Oh, Lethargy. <laughs> Lethargy? Lethargy? Lethargy. Um, yeah. That'll be a good one. They're starting to remove these zeros and adding uh, plus ones along the way. Uh, this will go a long way. Um, however, I think for this next, for the scenario for today, um, I'm going to drop the Soothsinger and I'm going to bring in the Scoundrel. I'd like to keep the Mind Thief um, because she has this level up. I want to check out their new card. Um, and I think this will be a better, um, or, or a group that I'm better, um, that I can better use. The, I don't hate, uh, the Soothsinger. She just plays in a way that I don't typically like to play. Uh, sure, she, like, she's great. She's actually, um... I'm starting to respect her a little bit more, but I still can't, I can't play the bard role. Like, I just can't do it. It's not very fun for me. She's too passive in, uh, in general. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that she's good at, but she's just too much of a support character. It doesn't really help in any other way. So... That's that's kind of why I like the Tinkerer, that's why I like the Sunkeeper. They are support characters, but they can actually do some damage. Whereas the Seuss Singer, okay, she, like, that ability where um, he can disarm a whole bunch of enemies, that's great, but it doesn't, it, it helps for that one round, and it doesn't actually remove them for, uh, in the future, it just, it just removes them for the round, so... It's nice, but I'd rather be dealing some damage. The Scoundrel, um, I'll bring the Scoundrel back, but I, I need to replace that um, in order to, to beat some of the enemies that are frustrating me lately. So, um, That said, what we're probably going to do is go down in this direction for Prison Break, because I want the Jagged Sword design. I need... Uh, I'd like to get a design um, for a weapon and this is one of the few actually I think this might be the only one on the map at the moment so we're probably going down in this direction we've already seen the bandit archers and the bandit guards but um, yeah I need this I need this design and it will start to unlock some of the things that are in this direction there's not much open for us at the moment but um, I'm mostly doing it for the, the design. Uh, before we go, though, let's level up the Mind Thief. So, for level 3 here, we have B Brain Leech, which is top action is attack 4 at range 4, then heal herself for 4. Um, this also infuses dark or darkness, but it is a burned ability. The bottom is very strong for the Mind Thief. Having an attack on the bottom is always, uh, as a bottom action, is always a good option for the Mind Thief because of her 
um, augments. In this case, she can attack with the bottom action and the top action and then gain two shield. Or make them attack threes, for instance. Um, well, make the bottom action and attack three instead of an attack one. And it also strengthens her. So she can attack with this, strengthen herself, so that for her next action, for her next attack action on the top, the same turn, she's strengthened, and then she's strengthened for the next round as well. So this is a great card, and it's very difficult for me to pass that one up. Silent Scream. Um, yeah, I mean, the heal two at range two, this allows her to start healing other people instead of, where is it? Parasitic Influence, here we go. So this is a heal two self. Uh, with an attack one. This one actually starts with an attack two. That's that's great, but um, The heal two at range two now she's able to attack and if she doesn't need healing she can start uh, healing other people or other mercenaries so um, Because I got rid of the Soothsinger, I think I'm going with silent scream I think I've always taken Brain Leech. I might have taken Silent Scream once, but I feel like um, having both of our frontliners as having some way of supporting the others is going to help out. Um, if she can attack with Mind's Weakness, attack one wound, then attack twice in the same round, she could be healing four. Uh, it could be two for her, two for somebody else, or four for herself or someone else. So that's this one is still a good card. It's just very difficult to pass up Brain Leech because of that attack on the bottom and the strengthen. But we're doing it. We're going to do this. And I already know that I'm going to drop Parasitic Influence and take Silent Scream. Now, Parasitic Influence is one of those cards that I get rid of by choice pretty often, right? You've seen me do this. Um, in this case, I don't want to do it very, very often with this one. Um, I didn't even mention the bottom, but a move three with push two, target all adjacent enemies. That's pretty huge. Um, if she moves up to a location where there's a few traps behind some enemies, she could be pushing one, two, three enemies um, into traps. And if she has ice, then she could push three, which is even stronger. Um, a push three uh, doesn't sound like much, but you'll be able to reach further traps or maybe two traps. So we don't have any way of producing traps. If we had the Tinkerer, that would be uh, a pretty good um, ability to have in combination with the Tinkerer, but it's fine. It's it's great as is. Okay. And I think let's remove that. Oh, we could. thinking if we remove the, if we remove the zeros it's not necessarily helping too much because it's just thinning out the deck and removing things that that I'm okay with pulling from time to time I probably want to pull or uh, do intensify before dust so that it removes the the zero that came with intensify as well um, we could add another plus two technique add two rolling modifiers with plus one. Uh, I don't know if we've actually seen many of these yet in this uh, playthrough, so uh, this is pretty nice at all times. It adds plus one to any one of these. Now the problem is that when you pull a rolling modifier and then pulling this, um, it doesn't matter what, like the plus one goes away and you miss anyway. However, if you pull a rolling modifier like this, stun, and this, 
uh, null, then you do still stun the enemy. Um, so these kind of rolling modifiers are a little bit better than this one, in my opinion. Of course, anybody can argue against that, that's fine. The pull, you know, if I was going full range attack, then sure, I could see this as being interesting, but she doesn't have many range attacks that I'm using very often. So I just don't see a point at all for attract. Um, let's see here though. Let's go with the freeze actually. It adds another plus two and it gives us another um, infuse ice. I think that's gonna go a long way, especially because we have the spell weaver combination so both of these enemies can stun using that that ice or uh, yeah ice so okay well, let's jump into the um, we do have money but I looked at some of the things I'm not too interested um, and I'm not I'd like to save up a little bit more to purchase an enhancement, so move on. <clears throat> the cart lies seemingly abandoned by the side of the road. Whoever owns it is nowhere to be seen. The back of the cart is mostly loaded with junk, but there's a barrel loaded with food, and you're feeling rather hungry. Yeah, I'd say because we have the Scoundrel. Uh, I mean, Scoundrel's going to just go and try and eat it. The food in the barrel is far superior to the supplies you brought with you. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one before. Usually it's like stale or something. I, But I, I've always... I'd like to say that there should be other ones, so it, it's nice to see. Soft loaves of seeded bread... Strips of dry cured meat, fresh fruits and vegetables, a true feast. Fashion a hearty meal from the barrel's contents, contents and eat your fill. Feeling invigorated, you continue down the road. Strengthened. Great. I, okay, I'll read this and then talk more about it. After resolving the tremors in the area around Porting Bridge, you hear more stories of similar occurrences further southeast. The more the first missive comes from the Black Rock Asylum, a building that houses the most dangerous criminals in the area. An earthquake opened a small fissure under part of the building, allowing a number of dangerous criminals to escape directly into a cave network under the cellar itself. This one's a long one. <laughs> you arrive at the asylum and are greeted by a very stern looking nun who explains that the goal of the asylum is to help the troubled among us back into society. In this case, however, the lower floors had more had their more extreme patience, and she explains that it is very unlikely you will be able to bring them back safely. The armory for the guards was also on the lower floor and has been ransacked. Ah, so the bandits, I get it. Um, I know this doesn't really take long, maybe a minute or something, but I would be okay with uh, with skipping reading. Um, I've just started reading it just because, but um, if, if anybody is interested in me not reading it, or I can just leave it up for you to read it yourself, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with continuing to read too. Um, we did take Silent Scream. All right, let's go. Um, yeah, about that event, I've, I'm hoping that there's like a, there's an, a, an event that the food is poisoned, that the food is good, and that the food is nothing. And I've, I've seen the nothing fairly often, probably all the time. So I'm, I'm trying to just play it in a, like a role playing kind of way, because I, I have seen most of the events. But um, from time to time, like that one, it still does surprise me. So it's so it's nice that there are different um, endings for the events. And I might have said this in the past. 
uh, about another one too so we're not going back in there you'll have to kill us first guess you'll have to do what the man says all right so we're in kind of a I guess a crypt kind of location there is a trap here there's a trap there look I guess that's it um, we have an elite bandit archer an elite guard and an elite guard and then through this door there's a hallway and another uh, pretty major size room there so so yeah let's take a look at the cards then so at first we have the mind thief with perverse edge and scurry um, I'd like to kind of move up to here and maybe stun one of these two. Well, definitely stun one of these two. I think eight is fast enough to go earlier. Um, and Scurry is to move up and make an attack. Probably I'll just step back here, make an attack, and then stun this one. Uh, we'll see. Then we have the Scoundrel, and I'm so happy to see her back. I mean, this is... This just to me is is way more fun. Um, the Soothsinger, I respect people's opinions that they like her. I just she's just not my kind of player or um, uh, mercenary or character. So smoke bomb to pull it in. Pull this one, uh, bandit guard to here, and then single out. It'll already be poisoned, so this will be an attack six. It does have those two shields, but uh, we will um, we'll be able to get through that, I hope. Well, we are strengthened, so we'll be able to get through that. Next up is the Sunkeeper. Um, I have Brilliant Prayer to just move, and then Holy Strike to stun. I might stun this one. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see who we'll see what the uh, the enemies are doing. Um, I could move over to here and stun here instead. Well, yeah, as I said, we'll see what happens. And then going late um, with the Spellweaver, Living Torch, I, we just really, I need to be bringing in her summons immediately. Uh, we'll start with summon Burning Avatar, and that will set us up with uh, Perverse Edge, the ice here, or Cold Fire in the next round. Um, because the Living Torch... Ooh, actually, I'm not sure. We'll see how that works. I think because it's during the Spellweaver's turn, she won't be able to use the fire immediately. Um, we will see next round. This is next round, I guess. And then uh, Flashing Burst to just make an attack um, and bringing in Light for the Sun Keeper in the next round. So yeah, we're, we're definitely going earlier. Both of them, or all of them, are doing an attack three. So it's not too terrible. Um, but we will be able to stun at least two of them. So, um, yeah. Okay. So up first, let's, let's definitely move all the way back here. Um, and start dealing some damage against the archer. The archer doesn't have any uh, shield. And so we have strengthen. Sure, we can poison her as well. That'll help. Future attacks at times two. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll shuffle, shuffle it right back in again. Um, and then we'll attack here. With the stun there's no reason to go invisible this i guess this is going to move one to it could move to here or here but it will move away and and then attack it will still attack the mind thief yeah i'm not going to go invisible for that though um let's pull 
here. Poisoned. Now, an advantage attack. But I could use the ancient drill, and I think this is a really good opportunity to use that. Yeah, times two. You're dead. Um, now we don't have to deal with that for the next round. Uh, and then I always do this, and I apologize. I, I <laughs> It's not that I'm going to stop, but uh, one, two... I think she has nine. <clears throat> but I don't think I care too much about bringing one of those two cards back. I, I always look at my... Uh, I always look at the stamina potion and and really want to understand what I what I need to do so or if I want to use it uh, we'll move to here this is already stunned that one's already dead so we don't have to worry about that for the next round let's move up to here and then use holy strike against the um, archer there and now that's stunned for the next round which is pretty nice Uh, I don't need to use that. This one's already poisoned. Oh, the burning avatar. Yeah, we're going to put it right a bit closer to the door so we can start walking toward the door. And I mean, we might as well just continue our efforts against the, uh, the archer there. It was stunned, sure, but now we really have all of our focus is on uh, the one bandit there. Okay, and I, I like the uh, the art on this one. The the other ally, what is it? The mystic ally is nice. It's just like a cold one, basically. But this one here is just. I mean, it's just the other one, but with a little bit of fire on it, I guess, so. Um, but, yeah, let's take a look at those cards now. Alright, with the Mind Thief going first, I think is going to be pretty typical. Well, we'll take turns with the Scoundrel, I guess. Um, Empathetic Assault, we can move up and heal a little bit. That'll help. And then Frigid Apparition to attack and stun. Um... Stun more importantly, we do need to get through this this two shield, but I don't think with what we have it's not going to be uh, occurring very very often, at least for this one enemy. And then because it's stunned, we don't really care about turn order. Um, but we'll go with the Sun Keeper, just taking a couple really late ones. Uh, we can take a major attack, attack four plus one with advantage because of the light. And then Daybreak, we can start to move a little bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then bless one of our allies. Later is the Spellweaver move at 81. We're just going to use this to, to move. I don't think I'm going to be... I mean, I'll probably use this in, in the last room. Um, but I don't see needing it at the moment so we'll use this to just move and cold fire um, just to yeah I don't, I don't really know I, I think I just chose it to make an attack if I guess because I'm going later then I can stun him again I think that's what my thought was I don't really remember <laughs> um, it was only like a minute ago but I, I forgot so I do want to test out if, if for some reason, the fire from the burning avatar is infused and then she can use it immediately. I assume no, because it's in her same turn. But we'll test it out. And then flintlock for the scoundrel at 90 and throwing knives. I'm just going to pick up this money and, and move a little bit. It's, it's really not... Uh, there's really not much. I mean, she could move up to here and, and really do some more damage, but um, I think we can we can wait a turn, pick up some money. Hmm. Could pick up the money with her instead, though. Okay, I'm gonna pull a quick audible here. 
one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think the problem was there's not. All right, here's what I'll do. Let's go with Sinister Opportunity and backstab for the move six to get her up to here. And then she'll have um, two allies adjacent to the bandit guard and we can use that to our advantage. Yeah, we'll do something like that. So 50, we'll be able to stun it and then stun it again. That'll work pretty well. Of course, the, the major problem here is that um, we Oh, because of the shield. It's just going to take us some time to get through this. Uh, I probably will spend too much time on this one, but oh well. Oh yeah, we won't be able to stun it twice because I'll already be using the ice for now, and that's fine. Uh, let's make this attack. Okay, we got one. Now should I... No, I think we're fine. End the Mind Thief's turn. Stunned. Let's now make this attack. Uh, yeah, it's going to take some time. Move up to here. We don't have to move too far. I just, I just want to, uh, you know, get closer to the door. We'll, we'll eventually get there. Oh, there we go. One more there. Okay, so it did show up first, which is interesting. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if I would have played it that way, but that's fine. Uh, we could stun him. Let's let's not. Let's just go for this attack. Yeah, we're slowly chipping away at the, at the health, but. This will, this should um, maybe do it here. There we go. And that one's down now. Okay, not bad. Round three and we've already emptied the first room, which is a uh, Pretty good, actually. I think that first one killing it in the first uh, turn was was pretty substantial hit there. Okay. Well, we want to open the door before we we allow uh, the the spell weaver to go. So we'll probably have we'll definitely have one of these three going first. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go through, there's no enemies in here, so I'm, 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 basically what I'm doing is I'll open the door with the Sun Keeper and, uh, and throw up a shield. Um, then we'll, yeah, I guess we'll go through it. <laughs> uh, then we'll, um, we'll go up with the Scoundrel and take a swift bow attack. So I'll, I think one, two, three, four, five, so she could stand way over here and then take a swift bow attack. Um, which would be four, one, two, three, four, something like this. And um, yeah, we'll be able to uh, to make a ranged attack into the room. Then we'll go really late with these two and slowly make our way. I'm wondering, let's see, movement is three actually, and then range is three and attack is two. Okay, how's that differ from here? Two, two, three, but I've added the plus one. Um, but basically all I'm doing is just moving up and I'm, I'm not really going to be able to do much uh, from here. So I think what I'll be doing is, you know, just moving up, bringing in an element and I'm not going to use this, but um, I'll probably just move up to here or something like that. 
Then finally, Mind Thief. I'm hoping that they've all gone at this point, whatever's in this room. Um, and then one, two, three, four, I can move up to one of these positions. And then um, I can loot before I move up. And then from the next round, we can figure out what to do. Yeah, I might use the minor stamina potions for this round. We'll see what's behind this door before I make that choice, obviously. Get that shield and move on. Room has more escapees, but you hear the sound of combat coming from behind the next door. Really? Uh oh. So this usually means a ca uh, cavern. So this is like within inside the the asylum. This drop down. Um, I don't know if this is like a basement or something like that. But there could be some allies of ours behind here that might help us. Maybe there's like a, maybe not allies, but neutral. They're going to attack both of us, maybe golems or something like that. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Maybe someone else is helping round up the criminals. Yeah. There's rubble everywhere in here. Careful, it'll slow you down. That's kind of what I was just saying. Let's see what they're doing. Shield and retaliate. So that's not too worrying. Uh, ouch. Like, really ouch. What? One, two, three, four, five. There's nowhere I can go. So we'll just move up to here. That's a major attack. Attack five at range five. Um, I could use this. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip it. That's kind of a pain. Now it has three. One, two, three, four. So if I do move here, then I can attack back there. Oh, great. <laughs> Minus two. Um, thinking now is a good time. Let's figure out what I need to bring. It's just one, it is just one. Hmm. Went lock. I don't really know what card would be good here. I mean, she could run up to here, for instance, um, with a six, one, two, three, four, five. That also, yeah, this also difficult terrain. Um, moving would be nice. She doesn't really have a whole lot of parts that would be helpful back there, though. Well, here, uh, let's let's definitely take it and let's go for an attack, single out. Let's take single out. I think that'll be helpful. Then we can like move up to here, poison, and start doing some attacks for the next in the next round. Next up, there we go. That's not so bad. We can block all of that. That wasn't gonna happen, but thanks. We we pulled a, meg, a negative one out. 
So we're removing these negatives. That's a good thing. So that the upcoming attacks, we have better chances of uh, stronger attacks. Um, let's go with light again. And it's going to skip the attack. I think I want to bring in... Uh, two cards. Yeah. Yep, I do. Let's bring in Flashing Burst so that we can bring Light back in again next round. And... Both of them are elites, so that's not going to be helpful. Let's go with... Let's bring Chromatic Explo uh, Explosion back in again. Uh, so we can... Do something else that might help someone else. Um, okay. Nope. Mind Thief's turn. We want to loot first before we jump over there. And then jump. Oh, we could do this, actually. That might be a good idea. Um, that's actually a really good idea. I could go right in between them. Yeah, let's do this. Wait, we have more allies adjacent to everyone. We could go invisible too. I don't think that's going to be too necessary. Um, although we do have some late cards here. Yeah, let's go, let's go invisible. We want to take one card. I don't think so. Now that we're invisible, we're fine. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is going to be interesting turn here. First we have, oop, no, we can't do it that way. Okay. I have to go 55. That's fine. Uh, first, we have the Scoundrel at 33. And she's going, to, she's going to move up to here, Poison, and then single out with attack 3 plus 2. Uh, with the Poison, we'll make that an attack 6. So minus 2, 4. Yeah, we couldn't. I was wondering if we really needed the um, ancient drill for the first one, if we had a times two, but it wouldn't have, it would have been, um, actually it would have, yeah, six times two would have been perfectly fine to kill it, but yeah, I mean, it's too late now, I, I, I don't care, it's, I was just wondering about that. Uh, then we have empowering command and hammer blow with the Sun Keeper. So attack four plus one, so it's five with advantage. And if it's still not dead, then we can um, have our Scoundrel that's adjacent to us perform an attack four that might kill it. We'll see. Next is Spellweaver with Fire Orbs uh, at uh, initiative of 69 and then flashing burst we'll see how to use these i mean i'm not going to be using this so i'll probably end up moving three and then attacking or i could just move four to get into a position where we can move through the door soon um and i just wouldn't use this so we'll, we'll see how that works out one two three one two three or, yeah, we wouldn't be able to reach here unless I could get in that position. I don't think that's oh, that's not possible. Okay, and then the last is the mine thief at seventy three. Let's put that to seventy five just in case. Um, and we're going to use silent scream to heal, and then mine's weakness to wound and heal again. I assume that there's going to be one or two attacks on on either of these and um, 
either the scoundrel or the sun keeper so yeah well we could heal them or we could heal her uh, heal herself realizing there's so many mercenaries or characters that begin with the letter s we just dropped the soothsinger now we have the the spell weaver scoundrel sun keeper um Bandit Archer Elite, making that nasty attack again, and then the the uh, guard is also making a pretty nasty attack. Let's try to kill him uh, before that happens, though. I think we'll be able to... 69 ended up going... Oof. 69 ended up going right before... So we'll be able to have two more attacks on him. So we should be fine. That poison essentially removes a shield. Um, so that we will be attacking plus one. So it's, it's basically canceling out one of those shields. There we go, a plus two. Nicely done. So I don't think that we'll be uh, needing all of this. Um, let's go ahead and make our attack, though. There we go, another plus two. So we can just move up with this. Let's pick up that money. pretty decent so I don't think yeah we've blocked all of these <laughs> um, so undo move to here and I can't make that attack so we'll skip it that's fine I just wanted to start moving up I guess so because of this what we can do is um, well, let's do this first. Pack two here. Plus two. Great. We'll probably end up killing him. Uh, killing her. Let's heal up our... Um... Sun Keeper. And, yeah, you're dead. Even if I... Even if I pull that. Wounded now. Nicely done. Yeah, see that. See how fast this is moving. I mean, we okay. We one of the differences. Well, before I do that, I have two cards for the next round. Um, having the scoundrel instead of the soothsinger, we're just blowing through the the enemies so much faster. Um, the soothsinger, man, I just there's good things about her. I I I just. It's not my cup of tea, I guess. Since we have fewer cards, we can just do this right now. Let's um, do that. And Glorious Bolt, sure. You, let's move a little bit faster so that we can make some space. Um, went to lock. And, ugh. Okay. I'm not sure which one we'd like. Well, we'll go with that and we'll go with that. All right. Don't have to worry about that. That's good. So, yeah, I guess move to here. This this is kind of annoying, but we'll take this attack. It's going to give us a, an experience anyway. And we can pick up the money um, on our way through. The loot, that is. Uh, we'll take that plus three and we can just move way over here. I mean, I'm definitely not opening that door, right? But let's stand, since we can, let's stand on that. Um, and we'll skip that attack. Here, we'll just move to there. 
we can lessen and strengthen um, an ally so we can't click on her of course let's do that I mean the strengthen might go to waste because we're we're pretty much just taking a long rest in the next round but we'll put the uh, the bless actually into to her deck I think that means yeah she has two blesses in there that's not too bad skip um yeah we can move right to there and yeah once again whatever this is so we'll just bring in dark uh don't worry about it we can heal somebody there we go that team definitely don't go invisible all right so I mean going taking a long rest yeah I think we're just going to take long rest we can take the long rest and we kind of want to we don't really need uh, we don't need the health but it is going to bring all of our equipment back up, so we'll just take long rests. Um, we actually don't even need a rest at all. Oh, take the long rest anyway. Everyone else is, so cool. it's a cool thing to do. Um, I might actually, yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this, so I'll be right back. All right, so before I choose the next cards, I'll just quickly go through. We've, for the Sun Keeper, I got rid of Brilliant Prayer. Um, both actions, top and bottom, are, are uh, burned cards, or are burned actions. Um, both are pretty good, but I, I don't think I'm going to need the heal five yet. <laughs> Maybe this was a mistake, but um, since they're both burned anyway, I, I figured that's a good one to get rid of. The Spellweaver got rid of Cold Fire. I just... I'd like to be using the other cards, and I'll be able to get this one back anyway. Um, but the other ones are more helpful. This one is more situational. I'd like... I mean, I probably will be able to use this now that I got rid of it. But um, yeah, I figured this one's more flexible. Um, and this one is kind of a better action anyway, so we'll go with that. Uh, Scoundrel, I got rid of Flint. Flint Lock. Um, because this is a burn on the bottom, and because the loot on top actually isn't... I mean, it's, it's a good card. Uh, I mean, that's why I took it, to try it out and learn new things about it. But the... Um, if, for instance, I was standing in a position that I had some some loot around me, then maybe I would keep it and get rid of something else, and that way I could use it immediately. But I'm not in that situation, so I just kind of chose that one. Plus, I'd rather be making her, keeping her attack cards for now. So, and finally, the Mind Thief. I got rid of Submissive Affliction. This one was really a difficult card to. Uh, to get rid of I like the top action I like the bottom action but um, I just don't the the other cards I'd really like to use a bit more than than that one is going to be um, yeah I mean the the bottom action here I was I was really afflicted in in uh, um, in choosing this card so it, it was a difficult choice but the bottom is really the one I would have kept or like uh, wanted to keep. Top is nice, um, but yeah, I still have a top action in Perverse Edge here that does the same thing but better. So if I need to, if I want to use it, I have that. All right. So going in is the Mind Thief with Scurry. Move three, attack one. We do have this if we want to move any further. Um, and then into the night and we'll just go invisible with her. That way we don't have to uh, worry about any incoming attacks on her. 
I believe, as the text had said, that there's going to be some fighting in here. So just opening the door is going to be the better, uh, the, the, the better option is get in there as fast as possible, let them deal some damage. We're invisible, so we won't really be taking any damage. Uh, that will help out. Next is the Sun Keeper with Cautious Advance. I'm not sure if I really like this idea uh, now that I think about it. Because um, I was thinking, you know, move up to here and then maybe the... the uh, and Iron Thief would be somewhere right here. But that might not be the, the case anymore. And I was thinking, you know, grab a shield. But we can just go in really late. Um, so what I might do is, I think I might change this up. Let's take tactical order for some better movement, but we want to go in really late. So let's take holy strike and use the uh, the stun. So we can have somebody stunned for the next round. Um, that is if they go after us or uh, before us. So then at 80, we have Reviving Aether so that I can jump over this crap here, get into the room, and do a range attack 3 at target 3 with, yeah, at range 3. 3, 3, 3. Um, this will, I might put with the piercing bow, depending on what's in there. Then at 86, um, Backstab to get as far in there as possible, and then single out. I'm hoping I can get next to the uh, Mind Thief here and use um, use her as an ally or to uh, power up this attack. So let's first see what's behind the door. Oh, wow. Uh, the Enchantress has uh, joined us. More demons. These ones are capable of creating the tremors in the area. Okay. It looks as if you may be able to use the remaining escapees to help take them down. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but I also want them to be fighting the escapees too, so... I don't think that I need to... Um, really want to put her there, you know? But I think a good option is to start... Um, poisoning. I can poison one of them and dealing some damage onto them. But I think what I might do... And I, I think I'm remembering this scenario now uh, from another from a playthrough with a with a friend of mine. Let's go here. We're kind of out of the way. Um, the heal. Oh, I should have got rid of that because that's not very helpful anymore. Um, yeah, we are still going to do all of this. Miss. Okay. And I believe that means that they are neutral. Okay. There's no healing to be done. And we can go invisible. Um, end her turn. Let's see what they do to each other now. I would have rather this one stay alive because I can easily kill that one. It's a normal enemy. Nice hit. <laughs> what was that? Pack four then strengthen and because it was poisoned. Okay, I mean, we don't really have to do much, do we?
Well, okay then. Oh man, we I screwed that up. Wasn't able. She wasn't able to move in. Okay. Well, I really need to move into here. Let's do. Let's just go right as far in as possible. And we're going to attack you. Going to attack you. And we might as well attack this one. I was thinking that, but they'll be able to handle each other. Let's attack here instead. Um, I'm, I'm going to use Piercing Bow. Let's just use everything, right? Let's stun this one. And Eagle Eye Goggles. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so you can't move. They're down to half health. And that one's stunned. That's not too bad. Don't really have to go invisible here because they're all just going to continue to fight each other. Um, move in. Let's go all the way back here. And let's stun. Where should we stun? Let's stun this one. There we go. Not bad. Um, let's wait. I, I might want to use that at a better opportunity here. And I want to attack this one here. That's not going to get me anywhere, no. So... Yep. Let's go here and then attack that one. Ah, okay. Nope. That one was stunned, so it didn't get to go. Oh, they're attacking multiple. Didn't notice that. Target all adjacent enemies. Okay, so they're all... Um, mobilized too, but that one's stunned anyway. Um, okay, well since this is going pretty quick actually, I've, I've paused enough. I'll go through some of the cards here. Um, I'll go through the, the turn with you instead of pausing. I get a... oh that's not... oh that's right, yeah, see fire orbs, or uh, sorry, Cold fire now would have been perfect for this, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's go in here with something like that. Yeah. Oops. Definitely not one of my characters. Um. Ooh, actually. Instead of chromatic, let's bring in aid from the ether. We can drop her right here or here, it doesn't matter. But then we'll have our two. This one won't be able to do much this round. Um, I should have kind of thought about that before, but that's too bad. That's fine, though. Uh, we'll go later. No, let's go early so that I can get light out immediately. That way I can use it. Um, let's use defensive stance to make that attack. Now we have to be careful. We want to be going a little later because if we if we kill them, then they're going to start attacking us. So we want them to kill them and then we can start attacking them. Let's go with Glorious Bolt and then we can use the bottom action to do a ranged attack as well. This one should be pretty straightforward to kill now, so. Uh, we can definitely stun one. Let's go later. 
<clears throat> and I almost want to bring in Wretched Creature. Then we can just have a whole... Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Um... We'll use that. Yeah, we'll have a like our own army going on here. Uh, we want to go early so that we can. No, we want to. We still want to go late. Let's continue to go late here. Oh no, we want to go a bit early, don't we? We could do uh, throwing knives to start hitting a couple of them. We could hit that one. And then let's take Sinister Opportunity to kind of find a new position. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, they're, I mean, yeah, they're going to attack. They're going to attack. They're all going to be attacking them I hope uh, there might be some confusion actually over here um, because we're going a bit earlier than they are than the uh, earth demons are so we might have to oh well one of them's stunned anyway so that one can't move so if we just take a step away yeah we'll see we'll see uh, earth demons aren't moving very far but they are attacking pretty hard, so. What we can do here is take a step back to here, maybe, then attack these two. Or we could use Sinister Opportunity to attack this one and then just walk away, step back. Let's, let's go for the experience on this. So we'll take, take a couple steps back to here. Yeah, we'll do that. Skip the movement, skip the action, then We'll attack here and here. Okay. Ow. Would have preferred the plus one there, but that's fine. Ah, so close. Uh, we'll summon another. Yep, we can summon it right here. Yeah, I mean, it's basically the, it is the same thing, okay. But one is red and one's blue. Or orange, I guess. Um, yeah, okay. I guess there, there, there's a slight difference. Uh, similarity, I mean. Let's go for... Go for that one. Okay. okay. Man, I wish I would have gone for this one now. Uh, don't worry about going invisible. Jeez. Okay. Well, now we want to kill you. There we go. I can hit harder. And we'll use this to um, attack there. Uh, not much. It it did uh, muddle, so that's, that's good, um, I guess. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter if they're attacking each other, right? So... That one's dead now. Oops. That one's also dead. 
That was what I was afraid of. Ouch. Okay, so not too bad. Um, let's undo. Let's uh, first... I might just use this immediately. Hmm. Yeah, let's actually use this. That way I can stun this one. Oh, no, I, I kind of want them to be attacking here, don't I? But... I don't want to stun here, and I don't need to go there. So I think what I could do is... You don't really have to do the thing that I was thinking of to begin with. I could just move three and attack three, right? Um, I was kind of wanting an army here, though. So, yeah, let's do it. Screw it. We'll put the rat right here, the giant rat. Focus attention on that enemy. And... I still want to... Um, burn this card and stun. So we'll stun that one, the, the bigger one. That way these two, maybe they'll be fighting against this. That might be the, the better option there. Um, we do kind of want to go a little later. Let's do that so that goes earlier and then you can attack here. That one's already stunned. Uh, perverse edge feedback loop. Let's do feedback loop. Not. Yeah, let's do feedback loop. Let's let's get a couple. Or let's look at some of the shields. Um, and reverse edge. Sure. We'll use that. We'll go late so that I can maybe stun this one again. Hmm. I could pull, actually, whoops, where is it? Let's pull uh, to poison him and then bring him right here. And then I can use Swift Bow to make this attack. Okay, okay. Uh, and then we'll just take whatever's there. Problem here is, oh, I guess she could... Um, this burning avatar has movement of three. Yeah, so one, two, three. So it can still run right into there. That'll be good. See our, our army. We almost have as many summons as we do characters. Um, yeah, so they're just doing normal attacks, basically. And they will... Uh, because they have the earth element, then all of them will be able to target two. Um, that's how that should work. I'm pretty sure that is how it will work, but we want to kill them as fast as possible, so. Let's pull him here. Or it. I don't really know what that is. That's a good, good question. I'd say that's an it. Are those eyes? Hmm. And let's make this attack over here. I, I guess I could have attacked over there, but I think that one will be dead before it gets a turn. Anyway. Yeah, they're probably going to kill it. Oh, not the rat. Okay. Oh, because we're going later than them. Oh, that's good. Okay. Have you attack? Let's 
good. We'll just throw the shield on. I guess we could have, like... Oh, that's right. Oh, that was awesome. And we can have her heal. I always forget about the augment when they're attacking off of their turn. Um, so that was actually... That worked out really well. And we can throw the shield up. We'll gain some XP out of it anyway. That Okay, that didn't work or uh, work as well as I wanted it to, but there we go. Uh, um, that's stunned. We do. I mean, we need to get out here and start dealing with these. Uh, we don't really need to worry about this anymore. Let's. Let's just start moving out there. Uh, we'll just continue with night or light, uh, dark, sorry. Um, and then we can use that there next round. Skip attack. Yeah, we'll have her. Oh, we still have one more. Um, yeah. I mean, do I want to? I guess I can't move very far, can I? Well, I guess I can because I have the uh, boots of dashing here. So we could move up, start dealing some damage against them. I'm not too worried about this anymore. We have so much firepower back there. Um, yeah. So let's let's get this and. We'll go behind her so that when she walks, she'll walk toward uh, the other direction. Okay. I want to take a card back now. Um, no, actually, that's pretty good. Round 10. No reason to, well, I could heal myself, I guess. Um, yeah, let's do that. That's what we'll do. Uh, we have the bottom attack and the top attack so that when she does attack here, we, we'll be fine. We want to go early or late. Oh, I guess 33 is not all that late. Let's go with this. Um, and short rest. Nope. Draw. That's fine. And we want to use Spirit of Doom so that we can kill this one. One, two, three, four. I think that's how far. Yep. And we'll use that to just grab something else, too. Okay. So their demon's actually going pretty early, all considering. Um, so we do have to worry about that a little bit. Uh, the bandit guard is going to be hitting for four. And we don't have to really worry too much about these attacks, I don't think. Uh, well, they are targeting two, so... Um, what I could do is disarm but we'll we'll just attack here twice there we go and you're wounded as well but now you have two shields and yeah we're ready for for the incoming one of the I guess we could be getting two attacks, so that's that's pretty good. Um, okay. We want to be attacked by this one or not. Uh, what we could do is 
Let's do it this way. Move here. We'll take the attack with the scoundrel from the earth demon there. Skip the movement. We'll poison the uh, guard. And we'll attack you for... Oh, well. We'll know that it'll die soon, so... They do have a uh, disadvantage because the um, because of her armor. That's pretty bad. Oh, they don't have to. Uh, they can't move. Oh, this is really bad. Um, burn a couple cards. Sure, we'll get rid of sinister opportunity and. With a uh, smoke bomb, let's get rid of that one. Gonna take another hit. Okay, well that lucked out. Move up to here. We'll bless her, and that'll help out with these attacks too. So that's that's actually gonna work out. We can heal there instead of herself. Um, okay. And so that's dead. Then the Mystic Ally. Good hit. Hit. Um, we'll definitely use this to kill this normal archer back there. We don't have to worry about that. And what do we want to bring in? We already have light, we have fire. What are her cards? Oh, she's she's all done, isn't she? Yeah, I screwed up with that. So we'll just we'll just come up here, pick up the coins, and we'll bring in dark. Yeah, that's too bad. Um, it's fine. We just have these two enemies and they're pretty much dead anyway, so... Um, but if I hadn't burned that last card, then she'd have one more turn left. And then we could get all of our cards back, basically. Um, let's take this short rest. We don't, we don't really need to uh, worry too much about this. Stun. Actually, let's. Yeah, let's do it that way. And short rest. And that always that always burns when I really I really need it. Um, let's use this because that's three plus two. And flip well, sure. Yeah, fifteen shield one and attack. All right. Don't miss. There we go. Let's pick up some. Oh, you're. Nope. Can't move. I want to try and pick up more money. There's a lot of money around here, isn't there? I'll do it this way. Um, yeah. I just, I kind of want to pick up some of this money. It's just, it's just sitting around. Um, I can't do that anymore. Short rest, sure. One, two, three. So I'll take that one and that one. We can move up to here. 
And I'd really like to uh, have a loot right about now. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen anyway, so. Buff bow would be nice, but okay. Let's go with... Oh man, so I really I could get I could get him to uh, get her to here, then we could get quite a bit of the coins, right? So here's what I'll do. Okay. Oh, that's too far. I thought I was actually close enough. I know this is probably boring to watch, but I, I do want to pick up as much of this gold as I can, so... Um... Yeah, let's go this way. If, uh, if you just picked up all the gold that was at the end, or you just get a loot coin at the end, like, if you kill it, you get the loot, um, then you could get rid of these loots. I, I understand it's like, uh, it's part of the puzzles is trying to keep keep you alive while you need to pick up all the rest of the loot. Like I, I totally understand it's it's part of the puzzle. Um but yeah, I I don't I don't hate it. That's just it this is just part of the game. That's all it is. I guess I should have moved over here, but oh well. Um, oh, that's not a move. Let's use this and that, I guess. It draws the one that I that I always want to have. Um, I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyway. No. Okay. He's not really going to kill anybody right now, so let's just attack her. Oh, come on. Yeah, I kind of wanted her to die so that I could use this, but. I think we did pick up like one, two, three, four. Um, so it's not so bad. And skip that. Yeah. Prolonged the video maybe by five extra minutes or so. But as the earth demons fall back to rubble, Workers from the asylum come to take away the bodies of those that tried to escape. In the corner of the chamber, you find some more of the strange crystals. Strange crystals? Not sure... Not sure what that was about. Did I miss something? Um...
Oh, there it is. I was just looking for this. Because I saw this, which said 14, and I thought, well, I'm pretty sure I should be pretty close to this. So this is a new um, uh, mercenary, a new character. And it is the uh, Crescent Moon, I think is what, what it, it's called, the, the icon. You play the, um, the board game. So if you're not interested in spoilers, this is one that I'm almost certainly going to be taking on. Uh, if not this next scenario, then then uh, within the next couple of scenarios. Anyway. But, uh, the Scoundrel looks like it's going to be taking on a perk point as well. So, all right, well, yeah, Scoundrel did most of the damage, most of the killing. Um, and the Mind Thief took most of the damage and most of the healing. And actually not too much experience. Although I think we get plus six for this anyway. So let's let's see who leveled up for the next uh, scenario or next episode. Oh no, okay. This one was just the jagged sword design. We didn't get extra XP out of it, which is too bad. But as the armory was badly damaged, the asylum passed me one of their bigger weapons. Although why an asylum needs a massive sword like this, I probably don't want to make a jagged sword at that. So we didn't get any level ups. Um, we do have the, this is the icon. Okay, they do show it. So this icon here, for those of you that have stuck around to the end of the video, again, uh, let me know in the comments. It's, it's always nice to, to see when people make it to the end. And if you want this in the next episode, then do, do let me know. I can uh, claim the reward and show you that in the, the next scenario. The Scoundrel gains a perk point. Let's just do this right now. Why not? You made it this far. You've you've uh, deserve it. We'll claim this reward. Oh, I'll keep this one off. So I'll I'll talk about it next time. We do have another one, the commanding presence. This is another uh, mercenary that's unlockable. Um. We only need six more control abilities. This one's an interesting one. I, I kind of like that one. I didn't get to play with it too much in the board game, but because it had a very fast personal quest, I just got rid of it too. Um, yeah. So we do have a perk point for the scoundrel for the next episode. Uh, I will go through this right now, but I'll tell you that I'm not going to do any jobs. And I don't want to do any relics. I'd rather be doing some traveling and I'd prefer to do some stories. So if you want, if you want me to take a look at Protect the Nest. Um, we don't have the, we don't have you. Well, I, I, yeah, we'll come back to this at some point. <laughs> um, but if you want me to do any of these, just let me know. I can certainly bring in, um, bring in the, the needed mercenary um, and attempt it. So uh, these ones are out too far. We'd have to do something to unlock that first. But we have fire extinguisher, which looks like some demons. Heavy bassinet's actually really great. Um, immune to stun and muddle. That's, that's fantastic. Dark Brotherhood. Burning Light, Lesser of Two Evils, Into the Darkness, Readying for War, and Trenchfoot. <laughs> Something is polluting the region's water, find it. Yeah, Oozes and Black Imps. Really, really fun. Enemies. So, yeah, if you... 
you have an idea or, or um, suggestion, I'll gladly take that into consideration um, for either the uh, the scenarios or the um, uh, characters. So, if you want any like the Berserker, you bring the Brute back, Cragheart, Elementalist, and the Tinkerer. Then there's the Crescent Moon um, that we can, we'll, we'll certainly unlock it and we can add it to our um, uh, band immediately if you'd like to see that. So, all right, well, thanks for uh, stopping by and I hope to see you next time.